For now, Governor DeSantis is giving News 6 more details on why he used planes to fly migrants from Texas to Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Today, those men, women, and children were moved to a shelter in Cape Cod. Officials say they will now live in dormitory-style spaces at a joint base. Now, the governor says the money used on those flights comes from $12 million set aside by the legislature in the current budget. But the language in the budget says the money will be used to transport unauthorized aliens out of state. And what was not clear was whether any of those migrants originated in Florida. Our team coverage starts with News 6 investigator Mike DeForest, who is live in Volusia County tonight with a new response from the governor, Mike. Lisa, uh, for the last two days, the governor's office has avoided answering a very simple question. How many of those 50 migrants that were flown to Martha's Vineyard caught here in Florida? After all, Florida taxpayers are footing the bill. Well, just a little while ago, I pressed the governor on that, and he finally acknowledged the number is zero. Governor, how many of those 50 that you referenced started their flights in Crestview en route to Martha's Vineyard. How many are from Florida of those 50? So what we're doing is, and so we got the $12 million for the legislature, thanks to these guys. And honestly, I have to say on a bipartisan way, almost every Democrat voted for our $12 million for relocation. They're complaining now, but they all voted for it. Um, we, we were, so we've done stuff in the panhandle, but what we found is we haven't seen any major movements of people into Florida like big caravans. So we've interdicted people on a onesie twosie basis and we said okay so we've had people in Texas for months trying to figure out how are these people getting into Florida what's the movement and the reality is 40 percent of them say they want to go to Florida. So they've been in Texas identifying people that are trying to come to Florida and then offering them free transportation to sanctuary jurisdictions. Now, according to the state's most recent appropriations bill, $12 million has been earmarked to, quote, facilitate the transport of unauthorized aliens from this state consistent with federal law. Now, many observers, including at least one Republican state lawmaker, interpret that to mean the money is specifically for relocating migrants who were already in Florida. But DeSantis just admitted Florida tax dollars were being used to move migrants out of Texas, not Florida. Now, today, DeSantis tried to justify that expenditure, basically suggesting it was a better use of money to try to stop these immigrants from coming into Florida in the first place by stopping them before they got here. Um, there are still many, many questions, including exactly how much Florida taxpayers paid for those two particular flights to Martha's Vineyard. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mike DeForest, News 6.